all right guys so welcome back to another video my name is victor and in this video we're gonna build an awesome 3d javascript animation using html css and vanilla javascript so you see this iphone right now on my screen if i hover over it you can see that the the content from the screen kind kind of like fades out of the screen and um, the iphone is moving according to my mouse you see I move my mouse and the iPhone is moving and the content is moving uh, it's changing the position um, so it looks you see right now we see a 3D effect, a 3D animation and I actually got the idea from dunkindonuts.com um, they have this iPhone right here, there's a section uh, I'm actually not sponsored by Dunkin Donuts I'm just, uh, I just got the idea from here so whenever I open the image in a new tab you see the the iPhone is a whole everything's a whole image in my case though I build this in CSS the iPhone frame is CSS uh, everything is CSS HTML except the logos and these donuts I actually cropped these donuts from their websites I did a horrible job here but you know anyways they still look delicious so I just left them here kind of like you know <laughs> all right guys um, I'm gonna write everything from scratch in case you wanna follow along with me uh, let me just close it, these things here uh, there's gonna be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code um, I just uh, wanted to I wanted to let you know guys that I'm gonna download these images I have an IMG folder in my repository where I have all these logos and donuts and um, all these icons so you want to download everything from here, save it in a IMG folder in your root uh, main folder. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So here I'm going to create a new folder. And I will name it, I don't know, 3D three D animation. I'm going to open it. All right and here I'm gonna open my VS code like this I'm just gonna adjust it bum ba bum okay I think it look good okay there is another one I'm just gonna close this down alright and here I'm gonna paste I'm actually gonna open my so this is my folder I'm gonna paste here those images so I have an IMG folder and here are the icons I was telling you about there's a Duncan logo which is an SVG image and then the rest are PNG alright so yeah you wanna have this folder like this and then from here I'm just gonna create a new file and I'll name it index.html there is gonna be another file which is the style that CSS and the last file is app.js okay first thing is gonna be the index HTML so what we want to do here uh, we want to create um, this frame the iPhone frame and then all these pieces um, other divs so we have multiple divs here but in the style CSS here I'm gonna have an HTML5 like this and the title is gonna be um, 3d animation I want to import the CSS CSS file in this in the following way and okay what else in the in the body section <coughs> excuse me in the body section here we will have a div class con uh, container like this and then in this container we will have another div class iPhone and in this iPhone the iPhone the container is everything that's around uh, the iPhone and then the iPhone starts to, it's the frame is the iPhone frame all right so here I'm gonna have iPhone and then this iPhone is gonna have a header div class and then this header div class I'm gonna have two other divs one is gonna be the camera and the other one the speaker you see the camera and then the speaker 
But before we go there, let me just create these classes in the CSS file. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna assign some CSS to the whole to the whole application. So I'm gonna have here margin zero, padding zero, and box box sizing border box like this. I'm assuming you know what this means because this is just basic CSS. So I'm not I'm not gonna go through all each line and just explain everything it does. Um, but here I want to add some CSS to the body section. So there's gonna be a background color, kind of like grayish. Um, we'll have a font family, font family, and I will say sans sharif. And then we have mean height, and the body is gonna have a mean height. Here we'll have a, a hundred vh. If you don't know what VH, I, I hope you guys know what VH means. And and then here we'll have a display flex. Display flex is important to have it. Um, we have the align. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Align items center. And the last one for the body is going to be the justify content center tip. Alright, so we've got this done. Mm, I'm gonna save it. I'm actually gonna save this file too. I don't know if you have this um, extension. I have the live server extension in my VS Code Visual Studio. But if you don't have it, just go to your extensions and uh, search for... Virtual Server. Here it is. Just install it and you may want to reload your VS code and then after you did that, whenever you open your HTML file, you'll click right click on the f on the document and you'll have a tab. We'll have an option which is going to say op open with live server. Right now I have my demo live server so I'm going to stop the live server here. And I'm going to open it again and this is going to open up a new tab right here. This is the new tab, which has, I don't have anything here, so, but uh, at least we have the color from the body section and everything there, so. All right, next div class, first one is the container. So, um, the container is gonna just have a width. Container, and then here we have width 800 pixels. Uh, the container is gonna be the the area where we hover over with our uh, with the mouse, and then as long as the mouse is on that container area, the functionality is gonna run. The three D functionality is gonna run. But you will see while I'm working here because I'm gonna explain the stuff how it works. The next class is the iPhone. So here's what uh, the the frame, the iPhone frame, and here we'll have a height. 480 pixels and then the width the width is 268 pixels next thing is the background color and the background color is white we have the display table table margin 0 auto like this this is just gonna center the whole thing it's gonna center the iPhone in the middle of the page in the center of the container uh, div class all right there is gonna be a border border radius and the border radius is gonna be 30 pixels like this and then we will have a border and the border is gonna be two pixels solid. And what color? We wanna have A0, A0, A0. All right, kind of like a darker grayish. And let me just add some dumb stuff here just to see how it looks like. Where is it? Where is it? Here. So here how it looks like for now. <coughs> 
okay but um, we still have to add the header and then all that stuff here so we have the iPhone we're not done yet here we still want to add a padding and the padding padding is gonna be 0 and 15 pixels and we want to add also if you see here we have a shadow there's a shadow here around the iPhone so we want to add the shadow here as well so let's do that here box shadow and here we will have 0 20 pixels 20 pixels um, RGBA and then in the RGBA we have 0 0 0 and then 0 0.2 so if I save it and go back, it's still like we have this shadow, but this shadow we just set it to be kind of like on the lower side. On the upper side, there's no shadow at all, but we want to add some shadow on the upper side. So I'm just going to add here more, um, another parameter. So this one is going to be zero, um, zero pixels, and then we will have 50 pixels and then we have RGBA and here we have 0, 0, 0, 0 0.2 so if we save it now we go back we can see that the shadow on the upper side is also showing up okay so we've got the screen most of it now the next thing is the is the header and the header here is not much to add to the header uh, we just have to add a mean minimum height which is 65 pixels and then we have the position uh, relative because I'm gonna have two other div classes which are gonna be position absolute that's the camera and the speaker so I will save it like this we don't see much changing here um, so let's go ahead and add here the two more classes one is going to be the camera and the other one is going to be the speaker so we have camera and the speaker camera and the speaker are the following you see this the camera here and then the speaker so that's what i that's what i mean by camera and speaker so okay so let's um add the css for this one camera and for the camera okay here we will have a background color and the background color is gonna be black it's gonna be black guy okay here we have the height the height is 10 pixel uh, for some reason it doesn't Jesus Christ, come on, Victor. Like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we got the height. The height is uh, 10 pixels. Width. Width is gonna be 10 pixels. And then we have the position uh, absolute, like this. And then we have the top. The top is gonna be 30 pixels, and the left from the left we will leave 80 pixels, and we will get a border border radius of 50%. So we we'll make it really a circle. So if we look here, we see this camera right here. Um, okay, now the speaker. It's time to add the speaker. The speaker. Okay, let's see the speaker here. And the speaker kind of has almost the same thing, except. Oh, um, no, no. Let's just try everything from scratch. So we have the background color black. And then we have the height, which is 5 pixels. And the width which is 50 pixels and then we have the position uh, absolute 
and we want to arrange it in the the header div class so here we want to leave from the top a 32 pixels and then from the left yeah I guess the left is gonna be the best option so from the left 100 pixels 100 pixels let's see what we've got here yeah we have the speaker here kind of line next to the camera but we should add some radius to that so here a border radius of 3 pixels I think it's gonna be enough yeah it looks kinda okay so let's just leave it like that I'm just gonna leave it like that if you wanna add some more stuff just feel free okay so we pretty much everything here now it's time to add a new div class which is gonna be the content so that's gonna be below the header content div class and then in the content div class we will have that menu menu bar from here on the top so let's add it here below the header so we got the content and then menu menu bar so uh, I'm gonna save it and just go here and add the style for this one the content is gonna have a border so let's see content and here we have border three pixels as the two two pixels solid and this is gonna be black and then we have the height and the height is gonna be 350 pixels because we already have the iPhone I already counted I have the the script guys so um, just writing everything from my uh, from the script because the height is 480 the, the iPhone height is 480 and the for the content is just 350 um, that's the way I had it before so I just want to leave it like that and I think that's it for this for the content because if I save it and go back we see the screen this the content is kind of the, the, the screen I should name it screen though but anyways okay and then below here we have the menu bar the menu bar is gonna be a display flex so here we have flex flex wrap and we have wrap like this and align items center so what else we want to add a padding the padding is gonna be 5 pixels 0 0 and the box box shadow because we want to there's a there's a little bit of shadow here if you see here right below this line the menu bar this kind of shadow even here you can see there's a little bit of shadow so that's what we want to add now and let's do the shadow is gonna be 0 pixels on um, 9 pixels 20 pixels and here is gonna be 0 0 0 0 0 0 33 so that's gonna be kinda like a dark dark kinda thing um, but we don't have anything you can see the shadow a little bit but we don't have any content there yet so let's go back to the index HTML and here in the index HTML I'm gonna add um, three divs so I'm gonna have div like this one two three a little bit something here something here <laughs> I'm gonna save it go back so you can see the header the the header is, is showing up here but we didn't add everything we wanted to add here though because it doesn't look beautiful so next thing though is the um, we have here a few icons so I want to add the menu PNG this one there's also the Dunkin Donuts logo SVG which is an SVG here and then there's another small logo DD perk this one so that's the three images I want to add in these three divs here source uh, 
alt like this. Okay, so the source img. I don't know. I don't remember which one is the first one. Oh, that's the first one is the menu, 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 menu png. You know what? I'm gonna just delete all of them and just do like this. So here, it's gonna be the next one. Actually, now here I want to add a class so I can add some CSS to this image, and I will name it menu icon. And then this one, the second one is gonna be dd hyphen logo svg, and the class class logo the third one is gonna have a class perks and the image is gonna be I guess which one is that DD perks okay I'm gonna add Duncan to all of them this is not good for SEO so don't do this at home don't do this at home just do it the way it should be it should be Okay, so we have the menu icon class logo perks. Let's let's save it. And let's see what's going on here. Oh my god, I broke everything. Okay, that's why we have these classes now. We have to fix them. So below the menu bar, uh, we're gonna have menu bar space, and here we have the. Let's do first the logo. And the logo has a width of say 100 pixels yeah it's 100 pixels and then we have the position we don't need the position here okay the logo and then the next one and then the next one is the what's the, the next one the, actually this one should be the first one but never mind okay so that's gonna be second one menu bar oops and we have this menu icon um, menu icon let's, the, let's do a width of 30 pixels so let's say let's see what's going on here okay so we see kind of server everything is going to, to its place but um, there is another class that we missed the perks and I'm gonna leave it for now because I think it doesn't even need some it doesn't need any styling here it's just um, we'll see because the image size is pretty nice okay so uh, what else what else I want to add some styling to the div so I want to add to this child some CSS and, and in order to do that I have to uh, add here menu bar div and here the flex Let's do the flex grow one and the text text align text align center like this. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh yes, this is the way I want it. Uh, it doesn't look this it doesn't look like a hundred percent like here, but it looks a hundred percent like here. Not really. almost almost which is fine okay what's next next we have the content we have this logo we have this line and then this delicious donuts I love Dunkin Donuts I love Dunkin Donuts they have some really nice donuts though. but I'm not sponsored by Dunkin Donuts so <laughs> okay next thing let's add that logo so let's go back to index HTML. It's below this menu bar. We will have another image. Image source. What do we have here? IMG. And then we have. Uh, what do we want to add? Duncan logo. Duncan logo like this. There's going to be a class. And this class is Duncan logo and an alt tag and it's gonna be Dunkin logo 
and then just close it like this okay let's grab this Dunkin logo if I save it this is gonna look huge because the image is kind of huge so let's go back here and let's add some styling to this class Dunkin logo so what we want to do here is just add a max width so we have a max width that's gonna be 90 pixels and we want to add some margin and the margin top is gonna be 10 pixels auto and how much there 20 pixels and let's add display table like this display table save it go back and here it is okay let's leave it there and now we want to add below we want to add our donuts or no no below is what is there oh is this line download the app today so here we will have an h3 download the app today bro download it download it today okay we have this we save it we go here but this looks kind of dumb so we should add some styling to okay let's go back to the style CSS and we want to add this styling let's see where we want to add it where we want to add it mm, I don't know let's do it to the content like below the content so there's gonna be content h3 and here we will have font size the font size is gonna be 15 pixels and then text text align center and then we have the font width I'll just put normal we'll see how it looks like download the app today something is not right something is not right h3 content Let's see content h3 content h3 mm, font width text align center something I'm missing here I can't figure what can't figure what but let's leave it like this for now actually I'm actually curious is that wait I was what's this Oh, if I like, okay, then never mind. That's okay. Uh, if I add, where is our okay? So if I add here, because in my uh, demo I had the uh, poppins. Poppins style. Here you go. Okay, so the popping still works. I didn't import it, but it it still works by default. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, guys, make if you want, you can add the poppins here, and I think this also, yeah, this solved the height, the problem, the height problem of the header, and everything looks looks really nice now because I didn't want to add this one. Um, I was thinking whenever I I was building the demo, I was thinking to import this font, but then I just just gave up on it, so I didn't. Do anything but it seems like there is still some kind of a there's some parameters for that font by default okay so uh, what do I want to do next next thing is the um, donuts uh, ta -dum, ta -dum. okay is the donuts image so image source and here we have IMG donuts PNG and do we have a class there is a class and the class is donuts like this 
Okay, man, I said so many times, donuts, 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 I'm just getting hungry. You know, right now, I'm recording this video and it's like 12, 19 at night. And I'm so hungry. And I'm drinking my coffee. This is horrible. Okay. So I have donuts.png, class donuts, alt, tag, donuts, or Dunkin anyways donuts is fine so i'm gonna save it if i go back here this is just off the screen but we are gonna do that in css so here in css we have the donuts class so first thing we want to do here is to add a max max width and the max width let's do 140 pixels and then we have the margin then pixels auto and display table okay so now it looks good okay so we have everything looks fine except you see the color though i probably didn't i forgot to change this uh, the color of this one so let me just grab the color from the demo really quick so let's go back to the iPhone and let's replace this white color with the following F1 F1 EF and where is the body here let's make this white so let's save it let's go back and let's go back and here almost the same thing except we should add a uh, background color to the iPhone. Uh, let's add a background color. There is a background color. Oh, no, no, no. iPhone. Hmm, this is in interesting. So, um, we want to add. So, that's why, what's what I'm trying to do, guys. I want to make this I want to make the body everything is white here in the demo in our case it was a kind of grayish and the phone color is a little bit darker it's not white so I changed the color on the iPhone but now I want to make it white here the screen background used to be white so that's what I want to do here and um, I guess here was the content the content yeah where's the content let's add a background color here white okay so it looks good now all right looks good all right so the CSS part is done <laughs> 30 minutes but it's uh it's fun though i don't know <laughs> it's basic css but um i just like it i just like writing it um so if you got to this point then uh congratulations we're almost done the, the hardest the longest part is the just the css and the html let me just make sure i didn't miss anything else here yeah, I didn't miss anything else. Now it's time to include, to call this uh, app.js file. So here we'll have script source app.js in the following way. So we save it, we go back to the app.js and here is where the magic, where is the next part of the magic happens. Okay, so in the, in the app.js, we want to get each of these div classes, uh, like the container, iPhone, um, menu, um, wait, Dunkin logo. So I want to get the Dunkin logo. I want to get the donuts, um, donuts class, which is this image. I want to get these this text from here just to make it 3D, just to make it to pop out of the screen um, uh, like we have in our 3D here. So let's start with the iPhone. So in our app.js, 
um, I'm gonna have const iPhone and I assign to this variable document dot uh, query query selector query selector and in the parentheses here I'm gonna put the class so we have dot iPhone like this and I want to do the same thing for the container 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 all right so below here okay so uh, I just I'm just trying to find a way on how to explain you guys how this animation works because um, if I'll inspect it here first we have the container so the container kind of like uh, let me just add a color to the container okay so you see this red color this is the container so whenever I will whenever my mouse will will enter this container that's when the phone is gonna that's when the 3d animation is gonna start and the phone is gonna move uh, in uh, in the direction where my mouse is okay so um, that's why I assigned the container and the iPhone to this variable so I have iPhone and container so now here I'm gonna add a comment I will say mouse move over and here we will I'm gonna grab the container and I will add an event event listener so the event listener is gonna be mouse move mouse move and I'll get the event like this and there's gonna be this function so whenever I'll, uh, my mouse is gonna move on on this container div class uh, here I want to get the let's get first the coordinates because there is the axis X and Y so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit so we have console log and I want to console log the page X right here if I open my oops the inspection wait it should be page should be e dot okay so you see here I get the the position of my mouse on the X on the X um, X so um, the X axis is this one you know there's X and Y all right so these are the coordinates it reads the coordinates of my mouse from the X axis and I can do the same thing for the uh, y axis so I can have here e page page y like this and I have t you see now it gets it grabs the coordinates of my mouse kind of kind of thing you see in, in the console log okay so what I want to do here now I'm gonna have a let and I'll get the x axis and I will assign, I'll assign to this variable. I'm gonna have um, window that inner width. That's the whole. That's the whole width of my browser window. You know, from the left to right. So uh, I will get this one. I will divide it by two, like this, and then minus event dot. Uh, minus event dot page x page x and I'm gonna do the same thing for the y this is the, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to grab the coordinates of my mouse and then to move the phone the iPhone um, according to the position of my mouse so that's what I'm trying to do here so sorry I didn't mention that guys okay so uh, I get the window inner width T e, this one is to be Y and here it needs to be inner height okay and I assign this to Y axis and then below here I'm gonna grab the iPhone 
so I'm, that's why I want to move the iPhone okay uh, I want to change the position of the iPhone kind of thing and then I put dot style dot uh, transform transform and I assign to this one the rotate because I want to rotate rotate Y parenthesis and here I have dollar sign all right dollar sign curly brackets and I have X axis and decrease here DEG don't forget about that right and then space and I want to do the same thing for the Y so we have for the for the X we put here on the rotate Y the, using the X coordinates and then for the X with the Y coordinates so we will have rotate X and here we have dollar sign curly brackets and we have Y axis and here decrease all right like this so let's save it let's go back and let's see what happens it doesn't like it <laughs> okay well this is good this is how it should be now what I forgot to add here I mean I not I didn't forget but like um, we should add uh, we should go back to the CSS style CSS and we should fix this and in order to fix that let's add below here I'm gonna add a comment so you you'll have this as a parameter um, animation and here we want to add the um, transform style so we have transform style uh, preserve 3d so if I save it now and go back here um, it's still going crazy um, okay I know why it's going crazy because it's too much here so we what we, what we can do here um, we can actually divide it let me divide this by 10 like this and the other one too so we'll save it gonna go back and you see that kind of works I just want to remove this thing from here just so you'll see what the difference is you see now it's it's kind of fuzzy it doesn't it, it looks like it's water but if you add this preserve 3d parameter it looks better so if I remove the background color from here it looks like this boom so if I move it and it looks it moves according to my mouse position okay here's another thing though we can add we can add something else and this something else is the perspective to the to the body section so if we go to the body section here and we add a perspective and let's say a hundred pixels and we go back here you can see the perspective uh, of the phone uh, but in my tutorial here I've used um, I'm gonna use 8000 use a thousand so the perspective is really good now I like it you can choose whatever you want but this is the way I like it okay so I have this everything works fine here now I want to make these three items uh, from the screen I want to make them 3d I want to I want them to pop out of the screen somehow so to do that let's go back to the app.js and here um, now what I want to fix here another thing though is like you see whenever I hover over it it's moving so if I if my mouse goes out of that uh, container div class it just stays like that so I just want to reset it whenever it does like this and to do that I want to add here we will have two other events one is the mouse enter when the mouse enters the container 
and the mouse leave. So here we will grab the container. Oops. Container dot add event listener, and the event listener is mouse. Ooh, woo, woo, Victor. Mouse. Enter. All right. We grab the event. We have an arrow function here. Es six. So here I want to get the iPhone. See iPhone style. Just to make it a little sm smooth. So we have style dot um, transition. Transition, and we assign none. And then in the mouse leave. Um, and then in the mouse leave we have container container that add event listener and the event listener is um, mouse leave okay we have comma here we get the event Okay, so here what we want to do in the mouse uh, leave, um, we want to reset. What I put this one here is the transition because I'm going to use the transition for, um, I want to make it sm smooth because right now is like, it's kind of like it's too suddenly, you know, the, the effect starts too suddenly. So whenever mouse enters, I want to make this uh, transition none. Um, I didn't add it in the CSS, so let me just just comment this out so I don't confuse you. So what I want to do now, uh, I was trying to do is this. You see, I hover over this iPhone, and whenever my mouse leaves the container div, the iPhone stays in the position, you know, like this. But I wanted to go back to the initial position, like in this uh, example. You see, I hover over this, and if my mouse leaves the container, the iPhone goes to the initial position. In this case, it doesn't do it. So what I want to do now is whenever the mouse leaves the container here, you see, I want to grab the iPhone dot style dot uh, transform, and I'm gonna assign to this um, rotate Y to rotate Y to zero degrees. And I want to rotate X to zero degrees too. Like this. Oops. Oh yeah, yeah, it's here. So you see, uh, if I go over the, if my mouse leaves the container, it's gonna, it goes to the initial position, but it still goes like, it's too fast. It, it looks kind of funky. This one is, is smooth, you see. Look at this, boom, boom, boom. So that's why I want to fix it. So that's why here I want to add a transition. Um, so I'm going to grab the iPhone, the style, that, uh, what did I have? Tran transition. And I want to assign to it the... Uh, all 0 0.5 oh, oh. 0 0.5 easy like this so now if I have over and huh, weird iPhone style transition all easy like this okay it should work I don't know <laughs> something here I'm missing probably so here but whenever the mouse enters I still had this transition so I'm gonna uncomment it so whenever the mouse goes over it the transition is gonna disappear should disappear okay you know what else might be uh, I think it's because in our CSS, in the CSS, we're not missing anything here. Oh, I forgot seconds here. Should add an S after 0 0.5. Uh, 
I'm sorry about that guys okay so it works now you see whenever the mouse leaves the container it goes to the initial position um, smooth you know it's not like suddenly okay so um, next if you want to make this other objects 3d that's optional that's up to you but I'm gonna do them here uh, so I'm gonna add more I'm gonna assign more to uh, uh, the, the other classes to the variables so here the next one is gonna be const and I'm gonna have Dunkin logo and I'm gonna assign a document dot um, query selector and here I have the dot Dunkin logo and I have also donuts and also the content like this so um, I'm gonna play with this once how many if I have one two three four five I'm gonna play with these other objects here so whenever the mouse enters I want to kind of like translate and rotate this logo because if you see here in my demo whenever I hover over this logo kind of like it rotates a little bit just the logo so that's what I want to do here as well so in uh, below the iPhone in the mouse enter uh, I want to do Dunkin logo that style that uh, transform and I assign here translate Z and here I put a 150 pixels and I also rotate rotate Z and here I put minus 45 degrees so the translate Z that's how much the content is gonna go off the, the screen and this is how mu how how much I'm gonna rotate it so if I save it I'm gonna bo go back it rotated it but uh, it stayed like that it stays like that just because we have to reset this so I'm just gonna copy this and wherever whenever the mouse leaves the container here you want to put zero so let's leave zero degrees like this zero degrees and zero pixels and it doesn't look that smooth because we have to add the uh, translate um, the transition transition in the CSS file so let's go to the CSS file and wherever we have this uh, logo just let's scroll down to the Dunkin Donuts logo here um, and let's leave a comment animation and I want to add here transition transition is gonna be all 0. I don't know 75 seconds and easy easy out like this so let's save it let's go back and now we can see that the logo works nice and smooth all right the next thing is this line from here so just I'm gonna copy this and I will paste it here wherever is the h3 like this I will save it and I'm just gonna go back to the app.js file and right here where the mouse enters um, I'm gonna add a new line and this line is gonna be for the for the donuts now actually let's do the content let's do the content uh, let's put Mm, here actually though like wherever the content is uh, wherever we assign everything to the content make sure you add h3 tag because we want to assign just the h3 tag line okay so now here get the content 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 and here we want to have the translate z we remove the rotate from here and rotate z i don't know 150 let's leave it 140 and um, 140 
and let's copy this line and paste it in the mouse leave and just put zero here zero pixels just to reset it so let's go back and we see the text is also fading uh, which is beautiful all right and now it's uh, let's do the donuts the same thing so we have donuts from here, paste them here, uh, we want to do 150, uh, let's just copy and paste it here and let's do 0, like this, go back, it doesn't work, <laughs> because we misspelled it, it used to be donuts, donuts, you probably guys already saw it. Jesus Christ, but oh my god, and now I'm typing Russian letters. <laughs> donuts. I'm gonna replace it everywhere. It needs to be donuts. Okay, donuts. Go back and let's see. But that transition we didn't add it, so we should add this transition to the donuts as well. So, where's the donuts? Donuts, where are you donuts? Here, let's paste it. Let's go back and here you go. This is the demo. I mean, this is the demo is here and this is our. So it looks good. It works fine. Uh, <laughs> um, I like it though. I um, I thought that this this may be a cool video. I thought this may be useful for some of you guys. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next video.